This time of year, M51, the Whirlpool Galaxy in the constellation of Canis Venetici, is a deep sky object that shines brightly and is a must-have photo for those of you who own a Sea Star Smart Telescope, especially if you're chasing all 110 Messier objects. The more experienced astrophotographers will already know how to do this, but we were all beginners once, and if this is you, then this video is for you. Welcome to the Astronomy Brat. In this video, I want to show you how I stack many nights of data on one deep sky object into a single stacked image. These were taken in several sessions over the last two months. Before stacking the frames, it's a good idea to remove any bad frames to keep the final image free from satellites or other artifacts that don't belong there. I'll post a link to my how-to video for that in the comments below. Open the Seastar app and connect to your device. Once connected, select Deep Sky Stack, then select Add Images at the bottom of your screen. Next, find the M51 Subs folder and select. You should see your sessions arranged in the order of date they were taken. When you select All, it will include every session's image. Press Select All. Next, select Stack 241, and the process will begin. The more frames to stack, the longer it will take to complete. I'll cut the video and come back when it completes the stack. When you receive the stack successful message, press check now at the bottom to see what the image looks like. At this point, I like to run the AI denoise function to clean up the image before any editing or resizing. You will notice some signs of field rotation in the corners due to stacking of images from different sessions. This is from sessions having the target in different positions in the sky when the images were captured. Don't worry about this now since we will crop this out in the next step to produce a much cleaner and more pleasing final image. Next, select the Rotate and Crop button on the bottom right, then select 1 to 1 screen size, then zoom in until you like the image. Press the Upload button at the top right, then Download at the bottom left. This saves the image to your device. To see and edit your image, switch to your photo album on your device and open the image you just saved. If basic editing is all you want to do, then simply edit it in your device. In most cases, the automatic adjust on the iPhone does a nice job of quickly enhancing the look of your image. More advanced astrophotographers won't use these steps. Instead, they will download all the subframes into a computer and use more advanced tools to stack and edit their images and are able to get even better images than this. Maybe someday in the future, I'll take the time to learn that process. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.